And in the case of the Negro, of course, um, although we've been free almost 100 years, we are still not entirely by any means integrated into American democracy. And our big cities have their great Negro ghettos, and Harlem is one. Throughout the 30s and 40s, Hugh spoke for the poor and the homeless black people who suffered during the Great Depression. He wrote about their hardships and their love. It happens that the Harlem Renaissance paralleled the rise of Hugh's literary career. During a time of racial segregation, Langston Hughes brought pride and dignity in African American identity. Hughes stressed the celebration of the beauty and strength of everyday, ordinary black folk. Why should I want to be white? I am Negro and beautiful. African Americans from all over loved reading Hughes' sensational poems as they exposed the true nature of their lives. For many blacks, Hughes' writing was a glimmer of hope and happiness. Ever since his childhood, Hughes led a challenging life. At a young age, Hughes' parents broke up, causing Hughes to constantly move back and forth between houses and between countless schools. Instead of becoming an introvert or a loner, Hughes lived his life based on a dream. A dream that he aspired to achieve at any cost. He felt that everyone, not only himself, should be determined to set forth a dream and live for it. Dream by Langston Hughes Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams go, life is a barren field, frozen with snow. Hughes developed a new style of poetry which fused poetry and music together to produce an exciting, provocative poetic style and art form that sang the blues and crackled with the fire of jazz. Dream Boogie by Langston Hughes Good morning, Daddy. Ain't you heard? The boogie-woogie rumble of a dream deferred. Listen closely. You'll hear their feet beating out and beating out up. You think it's a happy beat? Listen to it closely. Ain't you heard? Something underneath like a, what did I say? Sure, I'm happy. Take it away. Hey, pop. Rebop. Mop. Yeah. Hughes was also famous for his short and simple poems that moved away from the lengthy, structured poems that were filled with hidden meaning. This was Hughes' attempt at bringing people down to earth and make them realize that things sometimes are what they are and need to be seen simply for that. A perfect example of this type of poem is Hughes' poem, Gage. Hem. Hughes acted as a voice for people who are otherwise muted by an oppressive society. An artist must be free to choose what he does, certainly, but he must also never be afraid to do what he might choose. Langston Hughes, 1902-1967 to 1967.